one of the most important things about a hypothesis, right? This is your educated guess as to why something is the way it is. One of the most important things and a crucial thing, necessary thing for it to be scientific is that it must be testable. Meaning there needs to be a way to prove it wrong. Even though that test might fail and it's still shown to be correct, there has to be at least a way to test it. Some examples of possible scientific hypotheses. One, you could say, well, the moon is made of cheese. That's my hypothesis, right? I've seen the moon, it looks like cheese, I'm gonna guess it's, it's cheese. That is actually a scientific hypothesis, as silly as it is. It's scientific because you're making a hypothesis and that hypothesis is testable, right? This is my statement, the moon is made of cheese. Okay, go and test it, right? Shoot a person, shoot a robot, shoot something up to the moon, grab a chunk of it, bring it back, test it, oh, nope, that's uh, wrong. Yep, that's not cheese. All right, we tested it, there we go. Could have turned out that the moon was made of cheese. Who knows? Well, we know now, but before we knew, it's a possibility, right, and it's testable. That's the key. The second example here, a unicorn's urine is rainbow colored. It comes out like a rainbow. This is not a scientific hypothesis. Why? Because there is no way I can test it. If there were unicorns, then I could test that hypothesis, right? Wait out in their natural habitat and wait until you see one doing its business and identify it with its urine and rainbow color, right? There you go. That's how I would test it. The problem is I can't test it. So, not scientific. It's a hypothesis. It's not a scientific hypothesis. Right? And this uh, quote sort of encapsulates that idea that a hypothesis needs to be testable and be able to be potentially proven wrong. Okay. So this is actually from another uh, of the founders of quantum physics, Wolfgang Pauli. This is after somebody had told him about a new idea in science or in uh, quantum physics at the time. And his response was, that's not right, that's not even wrong. Essentially. I can't even prove that's wrong. Why would I even care? It's not a scientific hypothesis.